Workout B, let's get started with reach backs. Quadruped position, let's drop that butt down, hand on the head. All right, elbow to elbow, exhale, inhale down, exhale up. Looking good. Once again, we're trying to keep that motion from this area, not down here. Good, we're gonna switch halfway on this one too. Also, good to remember, drive that elbow into the ground here. Nice, switch it up. Other side. Amazing, good. Always making sure you're looking at your elbow, looking up at the ceiling. Great, get as much rotation as you can. If you feel any pain in this exercise from the low back, either limit it or just go ahead and stop the exercise altogether. Good stuff. Forearm wall slides. Let's take it to the wall. All right, so plank on the wall. Have your feet underneath you. Butt tuck. And slide them up and back. Keep that butt tuck the entire time. Back to the plank. Good. Our biggest issue we see on this one is a lot of arch as people start to pull those arms back. Sorry. That's all right. I'm used to it. So we see a lot of arching right here when people pull those arms back. You want to make sure you maintain that butt tuck so that doesn't happen. Looking good. Squeezing those shoulder blades together right here. Awesome. Doing great, Holly. Little stuff, big payoff. Love it. All right, we have the glue bridge with reach. So now we got that upper body mobilized and stretched out. We're gonna continue working on it a little bit, build some stability. All right, perfect, and reach. Yep, right there, reach, bring it back, and alternate. I want you to inhale as you're bringing that arm in, exhale as you're bringing it down. I want you to get all the air out on that exhale, before you bring it back. She's doing a good job of keeping this nice and flat. So if I got a stick and line that up with her knee and her shoulder, she'd be perfectly straight along that stick. She's not over, she's not pushing up too hard to where her back starts to arch. She's looking good. Just keep that up. Keep that good breathing pattern. Working that core from the inside out. Keeping that rib cage down, this is awesome. Perfect, even better. Good deal. Okay, we're gonna go into the push-up complex. Let's just go ahead and go right here. I'll pull this over a little, oh, you gonna use that? I can use it. Let's use it, because you're gonna have your knees on it. Good job. All right, so first thing, toe touch, walk it out. Slowly lower, slow, 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 all the way to the ground. Pull those heels up, push up, feet down back and through the inchworm. Awesome, awesome. And let's repeat. Walk it out. Slowly lower yourself down all the way to the ground. Make sure you don't plop down on the ground. Holly did a great job of lowering herself slow all the way to the floor. Great. Awesome, this is as good as it gets. Keep this up. If your form starts to suffer, you're getting a little too fatigued, then you wanna just slow down your pace. Next we have bootstrapper. So similar stuff, we're working on that posterior chain, hamstrings, glutes, low back. Grab those toes if you can, drop it, get that chest forward at the bottom. You can spend a little time breathing and working that if you need to. If you're like Holly, you can get all the way down where your butt's almost touching the ground in this position. You can go ahead and lift an arm up. All the way, put it back down, lift the other one up. All the way, get that stretch, and then come up out of it. Nice. Let's narrow your stance just a little bit when you come back up. Perfect, good. You wanna have your stance as narrow as you can get, but still feel comfortable getting down deep into this position. 
Once again, if you can't get deep in that position, it's okay. We can just grab here and go as far as you can. Awesome. Good stuff. Sweep throughs. Let's go ahead and have a seat on the ground. One leg straight. Nice. Bridge and then place that knee and then right back to the bridge, butt down. Good. Back up. Sweep. Touch that knee. Good. Awesome. So we're getting a lot of good hip flexor stretch here. We're getting good hip mobility as we're clearing that leg through. Nice straight arm here. That's awesome. Switch sides. Good. We call it sweep throughs. We sometimes call it the break dancer. It's a great exercise for mobility, stability, and a metabolic effect. Keep them up, keep them up, and awesome. Back up to your feet. Looking good. Windmills are next. We're going to switch halfway on this one also. Arm up, one hand on the leg, toes are angled, good. Once again, just go down as far as you can, keeping this straight. If you see that start to bend, you know you went too far. Beautiful. Really important, that hip is coming towards me. She's pushing those hips back to bend. She's not bending at the waist, she's hinging on that right hip. Go ahead and switch it up. Awesome. It's good and really get some head and neck rotation there as you're looking up at that hand. That little stuff makes a big difference in the grand scheme of things. Awesome. All right, lateral squat. So, a wide stance. Wider than normal squat width. Once again, we're loading one side. We did it in the hip hinge format in the windmill, and now we're doing it in the squat format with this lateral squat. We're loading one side, and we're switching halfway. She's keeping that knee from going over the foot, so she's keeping it in a nice line. That weight's in the heel, and she's driving into the heel to come back up out of that and all the way up, so she's standing tall. Good switch sides. Easy to transition on this one. Weight in the heel, drive tall, hips forward, looking good. Nice. Keep up that form the rest of the time and you are perfect. Great. All right, we got the band RNT squat. RNT is reactive neuromuscular training. Big word for I'm pulling you the way that you're gonna make an error. All right, so push those knees out, come up tall and lock those hips at the top. This band is here to pull you forward, not to anchor you. So this isn't like a suspension trainer, like a TRX or something, to where you're leaning on the band, you're doing the squat and the band just giving you a little bit of tension. And as this gets easier and easier, your squat form stays good, you can use less tension on the band. So if I wanted to make this a little harder on her, I could take a little step forward, oh, no. and it's a little bit harder. Good. If I want to give her a little bit more assist, I step back. And that pre-engages her core before she makes movement, which is huge. Nice. We'll finish them out. Strong. In good form, great job. I'll take those. We're going through it one more time. So hit the ground for reach backs. Quadruped. Good. Hand on the back of your head and rotate. Nice. Remember your breathing, inhale there, exhale up. This isn't something that we're trying to just burn through reps really fast. This is just a nice, controlled, steady motion, and we're just working on this mobility here. Good. Remember to switch when he says halfway, right there, perfect. 
Some people might not be able to get their butt all the way down to their feet. That's okay. Just bring your butt down as far as you can to your heels and you'll be fine. The goal is just to make sure there's not a lot of motion coming from here. Yeah. So I can lock that down for her and now she's getting a lot more out of it. Good. Forearm wall slides. I'd be disappointed if I didn't get you a little sweaty. <laughs> All right, butt tuck. Keep that butt tucked. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Another thing we commonly see on this is when people want to pull those arms back, instead of losing the butt tuck, they'll get a knee bend. So they'll go slack in that knee to kind of help. But we want to stay nice and tall in that plank position. So there's no compensation. It's just these back muscles working. Good, keep it up. Good job, Holly. I know this one's tough for you, but you're doing great. Let's keep this canister here. No extension through here. No arching, nice and flat the whole time. Flat, 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 yes, even better. Good deal. Glue bridge with reach. Doing great. You're doing awesome at this workout. Perfect. So you should feel your butt on this and not your back, not your quads, maybe a little hamstring, but I really want you to try to put your brain in your butt. I know that sounds a little bit weird, but when you start to think about that, you'll start to feel that butt fire on. So put your brain in your butt, keep everything nice and straight, and just alternate dropping those arms backwards. A nice good breathing pattern. Inhale, exhale, awesome. Keeping it up, keeping flat. She's not sagging those hips. She is a tabletop here. Great. All right, back to your push up complex. Last time. There's a lot of things you can do to strengthen your core, but I tell you, I've never seen anything work better than this push up complex. Awesome, all the way to the ground. Slow, no dropping out of it. That's what I'm talking about. Walking it out, nice and slow. Make sure you walk it out to where your hands are even with your chest. This isn't one where you wanna walk it out too far. You wanna keep the, in a nice push-up position. Really slow, let's go 10 seconds on this one. Stop, 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 pause, and back at it, come on. Stop and back down. Awesome. So ways to challenge that, little pauses make a big difference on the intensity. So if it's super easy, go ahead and add some pauses. Stop. Awesome. Good job. Bootstrappers. Once again, feet wider than shoulder width. Toes are slightly pointed out. And we're going to start with a toe touch. Perfect. Good. Drop the hips down. Nice tall chest in that position. Want to make sure you're not rounded. She's nice and flat back here. That's perfect. The weight's on her heels. Her heels are on the ground. She's not on her toes. It's another big thing. Let's go ahead and throw a reach in on each side. Oh, good. One more. All right. Looking good, looking good. Once again, this one isn't about speed either. It's just about going through a nice, slow pace, making sure your form's good throughout the 50 seconds. Perfect job. Cool. Okay, let's break dance a little with sweep throughs. So one leg straight, one knee's bent, one arm's up. Go to a nice high bridge, sweep through, touch the knee, back to the high bridge, lower it down. Awesome. If we wanted to, we could give Holly a dumbbell or kettlebell in this hand, 
that are challenged it a little bit more, especially shoulder stability. Body weight's just fine. With or without, it'd be great. Switch it up. Nice. Once again, an easy transition on these exercises to switch halfway. Great. Way up. Get that stretch. Good deal. I love it. All right. Good job, Holly. Back up on your feet for some windmills. Remember on this windmill, even though this is a side bending exercise, this is not an oblique exercise. This is a hip exercise. She's stretching that hip and then she's using that hip to engage the standing of it. So she's getting a lot of toning, a lot of strength out of that hip. She's getting a good stretch. She's going through ranges of motion that we typically don't go through. Awesome. All right, switch it up, other side, just turn those toes the other way. Nice. Same thing. Keep a nice, consistent breathing pattern. Pushing that hip back. I'm liking what I see. Great. All right, lateral squat. Feet wider than shoulder width. Toes are pointed out about 45. 16 rounds down. Go. Good. So she's loading that heel. She's keeping that knee in line with the foot. She's driving that heel in the ground to come up tall. She's keeping a nice pace. She's not going too fast to where she's losing her, her, her form. She's going at a pace that keeps the intensity high and the form good. And that's what we're looking for. Switch it up, real easy transition, nice. Looking good, Holly. All right, we got one more exercise to go. And I mean it this time. Arms through, <laughs> prisoner position, hands on the head. I'm your post. If you don't have a Steve Long at home, feel free to use a post, a doorway with a band utility strap. Anything to securely anchor this band to make sure that you stay safe. Once again, this is not holding you up it's just slightly pulling you forward. So you want to make the correction to go, I'm going to shift my weight back. We want to, on the squat, we want to be working that butt, hamstrings, and back. And unless we're uh, using our posterior chain, that's not going to happen. We're just going to tear up our knees. So this is a great way to make sure this squat is safe. We get all the hip mobility that she can get out of it. And she's not going to do anything to tear up her knees or do anything back. Keep it up. Few more. Keep that form, push those knees out. Oh my God. All the way up, done. Awesome. Workout B in the book. <laughs>